Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. Today's snapshot is 13w21a. We didn't have a snapshot last week just in case you're wondering why I didn't put out a video. However this week's isn't necessarily bigger, there's some new features and a lot of bug fixes so let's get right into it. So first of all with the horses in general they've been tidied up a lot. There were some issues with XP bars and health bars that have been fixed including some stuff with how the saddles look when they are attached to a horse. So all of that stuff in general has been tidied up and you can now breed horses without sitting on them so you can actually stand and feed them wheat and breed them together which is great. Uh, but the best new feature of the horses is that they now have an interface. So if I hold shift and right click on this guy you can see um, if I move the mouse around I can actually have a look at the horse from different angles. I can also take off uh, the armour and put it back on and take off the saddle as well which is great because previously uh, there was no way to remove a saddle from a horse unless you were to kill it. Um, so if we go and have a look at the donkey over here as well and I need to hold down shift when I click on him you can see that he's got this inventory space here because of the chest that I attached to him which I can't take off um, but I can take off the saddle like that. So as well as fixing the horses, Mojang have also added a new attribute system to the game. Now at the moment it's only partially implemented and in general it's probably going to affect everything ever so slightly in terms of uh, the normal game. So what this attribute system is, is it's a new way for calculating each of the different things, for example um, your health or the amount of damage that you do or the speed that you move at and it means that things like swords and potion effects will now be moved onto this new attribute system. So because of this what we might see is a slight change in the way that those things work. Um, but what comes along with these attributes are something called modifiers as well, which is what each of these items here have. So if we take a look at them, you can see that the strength potion here has a when applied plus one attack damage and that is a modifier. We can see that on the tooltip. Um, this one here doesn't have anything which I think is a bug and this one has plus seven attack damage so that's a modifier and when the player holds it in the hand it means they do that much more attack damage so what we'll probably see as I said is a slight change and for example with the speed potion over here you can see slowness has minus 15 and the swiftness potion has plus 40 percent speed and what I did is I compared running around with a speed potion in the old snapshot compared to the new one and it did feel like the speed was slightly slower in the new one so that's probably what it means for the vanilla game but in terms of map making this opens up a whole new world of possibilities because it gives the map maker so much more control over what they can do with individual items and potion effects in terms of balancing the game. So using MBT data you can go in and you can affect a sword like this and attach different modifiers to it. So for example we could possibly add speed to it. I don't know how it all works just yet but this will have a modifier on it. So now every player in the game and mob as well have um, some of these attributes and these are the names of some of the attributes right here. So uh, generic dot attack damage and they all have generic dot and uh, we have max health knockback resistance and movement speed so you can easily understand what each of them do by their name so if we were able to attach a speed modifier to a sword it means that when we're holding this we'd have a custom modification to that which could affect our speed um, so then when we're holding it in our hand a modifier will be applied to our player's attribute which is called generic dot movement speed and then they would be able to move faster but not only do the players have these mobs have them as well so it means if I were to give this sword to the mob then he would move faster and have the attack damage as well and so in general it just means that there's a whole new world of customization available for map makers so as well as horses and the new attribute system there have been bug fixes as always and previously damaged anvils never used to display their texture when they were in the UI or they were placed in an item frame and that's now been changed um, so that it displays the correct texture for the very damaged anvil and the slightly damaged anvil as well. Now as well as this there used to be XP in the XP bar in creative mode and that's just been completely removed because you never actually needed to use it to, um, to use enchantments and other things that required XP levels. So previously hay bales wouldn't burn, you would set them on fire but they would just go out after a while and now they can actually be destroyed by fire so uh, the fire will spread from the hay barrels as well and also they can be destroyed. So previously you were not able to throw an ender pearl when you were riding a horse. Now you can do this, you can throw an ender pearl off of the horse so the horse doesn't get uh, teleported with you. And as well as this, you used to be able to see the name of a horse while you were riding on it. So if you were to look down you could see the big letters. And this has been changed, so when you're riding a horse you won't see its name. And so the last bug here is a very strange one. And the sides of a cauldron's texture would change when you put a compass into an item frame like you can see here. It's really strange. Um, they just fixed that so it doesn't happen at all anymore. So there are two other things to mention. 
Um, first of all, in multiplayer there are tons of bugs with players appearing in the wrong positions and holding the wrong items in their hands. Supposedly all of that has been taken care of so it's back to normal. And as well as that there is also a new resource pack system. I have no idea what that is or how to find it. Supposedly it involves texture packs so if any of you uh, know what that is let me know in the comments down below. But that is it for this video. If you want to watch some more of mine there are links on the screen. And if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a like and help support the channel. So as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.